Good afternoon from Lesotho and good day from wherever you are. My name is Buhle Mbambo Tata. I'm the university librarian of the National University of Lesotho. And I'm delighted to be participating in this vlog in which I can make my inputs on open plan. In my view, one of the main tenets of open access, open science, and open uh, galleries, libraries, um, and museums, archives and museums, GLAM, is the opportunity we have to ensure equity in access to, in, to information, in access to knowledge. A GLAM, open GLAM rather, enables us to equally share knowledge between North and the South in a digital space and ensure free flow of knowledge across uh, geopolitical locations and across uh, power structures. The first one for me is that because all this is happening in an online space, in a digital space, the whole issue of digital divide comes into play. There is a divide, digital divide infrastructurally uh, and skills and otherwise between the North and the South, but also even within the South between rural and urban, but also sociopolitically between male and female, there is a digital divide and it makes, it's, it, that digital divide gets in the way of a free flow. But that is not to say that it cannot be fixed. We can work on removing the digital divide. The second barrier is the limitation uh, related to cost. Open GLAM and open access is possible because it becomes free for the end user. But there's the back end costs, uh, like in publishing, like in putting the content up for others to view. And that costs of loading the content, um, it, it becomes a challenge for authors uh, and I think curators from the global south because the infrastructure to do that and the cost related to, to putting up the content is high. And so the costs of publishing um, has excluded authors from uh, the south who cannot afford to pay the costs. And as a result, we're beginning to see a tend towards hearing voices in open access only from the north, north because the southern voices are not able to meet the cost. I've also been asked to perhaps comment about what, what is it that sticks in my mind about open glam and open access and really lights, it gives me a light bulb moment. And one of them or the main one for me is the opportunity we have to decolonize knowledge. In open glam, in open access, in open science, we have an opportunity to create a platform in which uh, to decolonize knowledge and remove power relations to knowledge and make amplify voices from the South, amplify global vo I mean, voices from the South. And so uh, open glam uh, gives us an opportunity to decolonize. Uh, knowledge. What message do I leave with us? What message would I like to leave? In one is one that says we have a real opportunity here to work together as people committed to openness to content, to remove the barriers that get in the way of open, whether they are costs or whether they're infrastructure, to work together towards decolonizing knowledge so that voices from the South and voices of the North get into a, 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 an equitable space to be heard and remove those barriers and um, that, that make it difficult to, to share knowledge freely and create a space where North and South knowledge can coexist. Um, so I urge all of us interested in open uh, issues that we work together to remove barriers, but to also decolonize knowledge. I thank you for the opportunity to participate in this vlog. Um, it has really been great for me to participate. I thank you. <laughs>